Well, I'm fat and old, and my knees could not handle it. All right, good morning. It is Wednesday morning, and we are in, hang on a second. We're in Great Bend, Kansas, at a Walmart parking lot. I, uh, I try not to make excuses too much, but uh, ever since the truck show, my allergies I don't know if I was sick or what but uh, I just was never right and I went to the doctor got some medicine the medicine was making me really sleepy and kind of out of it uh, I went home and I think the desert air helped me I'm done with the allergy stuff I haven't had any problems and I quit taking that medicine uh, and I was having a good day. I was having a good day Monday. We unloaded and then reloaded the air conditioners. But I was having a problem with the air conditioners walking around on the trailer. So I got on the trailer and I was trying to secure them. In the process of doing that, I stumbled and had to jump off of... So I drive by. I had to jump off the trailer and I landed flat-footed on the ground. Well, I'm fat and old and my knees could not handle it anyway I hurt one of my knees and I was in a lot of pain yesterday I stopped at this Walmart yesterday evening or afternoon and bought a, a knee brace and actually me and Bailey sat outside I've got here about I don't know two or three o'clock we sat outside in the grass under the tree in the shade right there <laughs> sat there for about an hour and a half just relaxing um, I had to redo my air conditioners yesterday morning. Uh, I finally figured out a solution. I don't know why they were walking around. I've never had a, really a problem with them walking around like that. The way I had so, this is how I usually do them with the strap. But I only have four of these. I'm going to order some more of these. And this don't walk around when I did it like this. But if you remember on the other side, I think you guys saw it earlier. I had the chain running the length of the of the piece and then I had the two straps on this side and for some reason they were walking around and I couldn't figure it out so what I ended up doing is you there's a good look at how I did that took chain hooked it ran it underneath up over the trailer we'll go around this side binder and then change it on and since I've done this they haven't moved at all so uh, this worked a lot better doing it this way so I guess from now on if I have to use a chain with the air conditioners this is how I'll do it but I was up on a trailer and I was actually trying to walk right there you see how that thing hangs over like that well anyway I got too far out and I had to jump off the trailer because I kind of pushed myself and uh, anyway I landed flat-footed on the ground hurt my knee haven't done that in a long time just when I was feeling good so but these straps like this work great so uh, I'm gonna give me some more straps for when I haul these air conditioners like this the trailer's looking good. Everything else is looking pretty good. Oh, I waited about 10, to, 10 minutes too long. In the, in, the, in the time it took to build up the air pressure, they put all them cones up right there. So, but that's the truck route right there. And there's traffic light. So we're gonna go down there. There's a, a way out down there. But, uh, oh well. Pull up behind me. 
the city. We'll unload these things. But I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Building. 
there right now. Turn it around. Let him get out. Trust me, I am too. Yeah. We'll have you pull in. Kind of angle that way. Okay. We got a little more room. Get up on the side. Probably pull them up where the units are about. Over the end of this one. Okay. Uh. Or a little farther. What if I go around and, and then back in? That way I can get out. Either way. Either way. Yeah. We'll get it worked out. Yeah. That's the only thing I worry about trying to get out. That's all. Well, that last guy just swung it. I saw it around. He just pulled the UE. But I'm I'm a little longer. You're so. A little longer. <laughs> so. The whole house. Right I, here. I, I almost thought about backing in here. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Turn it around. Let there. me get spun around. Yeah. And then, and probably that'll put me in a good position too. Okay. If you want to, I'll sit over on that side yeah. there. Okay. City, Kansas. We're sitting down here at this Loves with all the reefers and the cow haulers and everybody else. Um, we did book a load out of Edgerton, Kansas, Kubota tractors going to New Mexico. So we're going to load those tomorrow. Uh, we're about 400 miles, give or take a little bit, to uh, to New Mexico or to uh, Edgerton, Kansas. But and that's kind of what I was planning when I took this load was I was going to go back to Edgerton. So a little bit of a bounce, but just stay moving. Freight wise, it ain't done too bad. It just I've had deadhead a little bit more, but uh, can't be too picky. All right, I'm going to get a cup of coffee and get out of here talk to you in a bit